welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name's Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Blue Plan. Today we are talking Weight Watchers versus counting calories. Pros, cons, which program or way of eating or lifestyle is better for weight loss. So I'm here today to share with you all the nitty gritty on Weight Watchers versus counting calories. There's good and there's bad for both aspects and we're going to narrow down and determine what's the best path for you to choose for your weight loss. So if you are excited for today's video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and I really appreciate it. Also, if you're not subscribed, I would love to have you join my community. So hit the little subscribe button right down there and the bell next to it so you're notified whenever I upload. I do upload videos at least five days a week so you don't wanna miss out. Make sure you're checking out that description box down below where you're going to find my nutrition coaching website. I do macro and calorie calculation. So if you choose to count calories or even if you just wanna know the calories you should be eating every day, which by the way, we should all know that. Make sure you take advantage of that service on my nutrition coaching website. I have group coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching, so there's a little bit of something for everyone, so check that out. Also in the description box, you'll find links and discount codes to all of my favorite things. My second YouTube channel, all about real talk, nutrition, and weight loss, and also the link to join us over on Facebook. We have an amazing supportive community on Facebook, so we'd love to have you there as well. So. I'm excited for today's video and I know that a lot of you are because I have gotten this question time and time again, so let's jump in. While people use countless methods to lose weight, I want to talk to you today about the two that I follow. I kind of work at the WW or Weight Watchers program hand in hand with counting calories and macros. As you know, I really focus on calories and protein. I don't focus a lot on carbs and fat. And I do try to hit my fiber goal every day, which is between 20 and 25 grams of fiber, which is what we should all be consuming daily when it comes to fiber. So because I'm extremely knowledgeable in both Weight Watchers, WW and calorie counting, I wanted to share some pros and cons of each program with you today. And then let's help figure out what one should you choose? What is the best program for you? So we're gonna talk about that as well. So I wanna start first with Weight Watchers or WW. So a little back history on myself and my journey on Weight Watchers or WW. So about 15 years ago, I actually lost 125 pounds on WW Weight Watchers. That was the old program where everything was taken into account. There were no zero point foods. You even had to track your fruit. So I was very successful on that program. I did not even exercise until I had lost 50 pounds. So I did not rely on exercise to lose that 125 pounds. Over the course of the last 15 years, I've gained a lot of that 125 pounds back. So about two years ago, I rejoined WW. I recommitted to try to take off the weight that I've gained back that I had lost about 15 years ago. Now in 2019, I was on WW strictly, but I didn't work the program to the best of my ability. I didn't lose a whole lot of weight in the year of 2019. Now I didn't gain weight and I didn't maintain weight. I did lose weight, but it certainly wasn't the amount of weight that of course I would like to see over the course of 12 months. So in 2020, I set some amazing goals about weight loss and just life in general and healthy lifestyle and being committed and consistency in my program. I've had far more success in 2020, even with a global pandemic in my weight loss. It was about recommitting and staying consistent. I'm continuing on losing weight with WW, but about six months ago or so, I really started to look a little bit deeper into calories. I just felt like I wasn't eating enough calories on the WW program. And when I did my research and did a few what I eat in a days, I realized that I was very, very much under eating on WW. So I started to get really involved in figuring out calories and macros. And at that time I came up with a calorie goal and a protein goal. And since then I have been focusing double on calories and WW. Also during that time I 
received my weight loss and nutrition certification. So I was able to get even more knowledge in the bank when it comes to calories and nutrition and weight loss. So I feel like I can speak openly and freely and knowledgeably on both WW and on calories. So that's a little bit of a backstory about me. Again, I am still following the WW Blue Plan and I'm also double tracking calories and macros. I like to kind of see where I fall. And I always, always say knowledge is power. And for me, it's really important to know Weight Watchers points and calories and see if I can balance those out to be successful on each program. So now let's talk about Weight Watchers. If you are new to WW or you're considered joining, we would love to have you. Of course, there is a link in my description box for a free month on the WW program. So you can give it a try, see if it's something that you like. But when you sign up for WW, you are actually given a survey or a questionnaire. You answer those questions honest and truthfully, and then Weight Watchers will assign you a color of program. There are three colors in Weight Watchers. There's blue, there's green, and there's purple. Each of these programs have zero point food lists. Each of these programs have the same points across the board other than the zero point foods. That's where your points are going to vary. Your daily points will vary also on all three programs. I get a lot of questions on why I have more than the minimum number of smart points. So smart points are not only given based on weight. They are also take into consideration gender, height, and your age and your points do change as you progressively lose weight. Now I'm a pretty tall individual, so I don't know that I would ever have the minimum number, but I may have one or two points above the minimum number once I hit my goal weight. So not everybody is assigned the same number of smart points. It varies on the things that I mentioned. So on Weight Watchers, you're giving a points target and that is your goal every single day to meet that points target. You're also giving a list again of zero point foods. They vary from 100 to 300 zero point foods. Now I don't want to go too much into detail other than this on WW. I am going to link down in the description box two videos that I put out last November. So November of 2019 when WW changed their programs over to these three colors. I recommend that you watch those videos. I go in depth on what the three colors mean and the zero point foods. So I will definitely link those down below for you. So now let's talk a little bit about counting calories. So when you count points on WW, they encourage you not to track your zero point foods. So you don't have to weigh and measure those. You don't have to track those. Now, if you choose the calorie counting approach, you have to track everything that you consume. So things that are zero points on WW, you have to track those on calorie counting. You need to weigh and measure those and track those accordingly into whatever calorie counting app that you're choosing to use. I use the Lose It app. I absolutely love it. I have the premium version. There are other apps out there. There is my Fitness Pal and Spark People. There's a lot of ways and apps out there available to you to help track your calories. So with calorie counting, again, you need to track literally everything. I will tell you that I choose not to track non-starchy vegetables. So things such as lettuce, or cucumbers or broccoli. I don't generally track those. They're very, very mild in calories and they provide a ton of nutrients. So I figure that three, five, 10 calories isn't going to make that much of a difference. Now there are people that out there that will say you have to track everything, even the two calories for the cup of spinach. So we need to work the program the way that it works for us. So if you feel like you wanna track everything, then absolutely do that. If you wanna kind of follow in my footsteps and only track things that are more calorically dense and not track your non-starchy vegetables, then that's an option as well. Now I do track everything else that I eat, I weigh, I measure, I track. And with calorie counting, I don't just track calories. We also track macros. Macronutrients consist of carbs, fats, and protein. And then there is fiber kind of off in the distance. That's really important as well. I don't watch my carbs or my fats. Those are kind of irrelevant to me. I kind of like to see where I fall every day, but I'm very focused on calories and protein. And I do again, like to have at least 20 to 25 grams, which is recommended of fiber every single day. So let's talk about which of these WW or calorie counting is more effective for long-term weight loss. Now, if you choose the calorie counting approach, you're kind of on your own. There isn't meetings to go to. There's not a designated app. 
to use. Now you can take advantage of someone like myself, who's a weight loss and nutrition coach to really kind of help steer you towards the correct caloric intake and macronutrients, but you're on your own to track those in whatever app or whatever fashion you choose to do that. Now, if you choose to follow WW, there is an app that comes along with the program. There's also digital and in-person meetings. You can weigh in every week if you would like to. In fact, it's encouraged. So there's a little bit more one-on-one -on -one individual support when it comes to choosing the WW program. So WW was actually founded in 1963. And as you know, there are so many celebrities like Oprah that promote the WW program. It has a great proven track record. The idea behind WW and the idea behind giving us zero point foods is to help guide us towards making healthier decisions. Some other things that have made WW so successful is it helps people make better choices. You only have so many points in a day. And what I love too about WW is it's extremely flexible. You choose how to spend your points. If you wanna have Snickers all day long for your points, then you certainly can do that. And you should still see a loss on the scale because you stayed within your points. Now, does that nourish your body the most effective way? No. but. In theory, you should be able to eat Snickers if it's within your points and see a loss on the scale. However, by giving us zero point foods and making healthy options less points, it's navigating us towards those foods. It's a very smart approach to helping people make healthier food choices. For example, a banana is zero smart points on WW on any of the three ways to work the program. Now, a banana is about 100 calories. A miniature candy bar is anywhere from four to six smart points on the WW program and is also 100 calories. So if you're on WW, which one are you going to choose? You're obviously going to navigate towards the banana because it's zero points. Now, if you're counting calories and a banana is 100 calories and a candy bar is 100 calories, now you have more options. You have a little bit more freedom. You could certainly eat that candy bar. I wanna talk about choosing foods when counting calories when we get a little bit further into today's video. Also following WW, like I mentioned, you have digital and in-person workshops, and you also weigh in with a instructor at these workshops every single week. So it's a great source of accountability. It's a great source of partnership with WW. We grow to love our leaders or our coaches. We grow to love the individuals that check us in at the workshop. We make friends. I know for me, I have made several friends that I see on a regular basis from my WW workshop. In fact, that's how I found Jazzercise. So for me, going to a workshop and having that friendship and that camaraderie is a huge part of why I love the WW program. So let's recap about WW. So there's in-person and digital workshops and weigh-ins weekly. So again, it helps build community and camaraderie and friendship. There's an app associated with the program. It provides a lot of flexibility with the zero point foods and giving you a set number of points and weekly extra points every week that you choose to eat whatever you want to eat as long as it stays within your points. And lastly, WW definitely, definitely helps guide you towards healthier food choices because they fall really low in points or zero points. So the whole idea is to have you choose those foods over point heavy foods or processed foods that just have a lot less nutrients and a lot more points. The push towards healthy foods is one of my favorite things about the WW program. So now let's talk about counting calories. So like I mentioned, there are apps that you can record your calories in. One thing you don't have with counting calories is support. You don't have a workshop or a group to attend once a week or every couple of weeks. However, there are communities on Facebook, Instagram, and here on YouTube of fellow calorie counters that you can grow relationships and form bonds with that will help you kind of like WW workshops, help WW participants kind of help you along your calorie counting journey. Also with calorie counting, it provides a lot of flexibility, honestly, more flexibility than WW. Even though that program has tons and tons of flexible options, calorie counting is basically calories. It doesn't really matter the other nutrients that make up those foods. It's all about staying within your calories. However, when you calorie count, it's extremely important to watch your macronutrients, especially protein. You should have a set protein goal every single day that is to the front 
and center the number one thing that you reach every single day. And by reaching that protein goal, you'll find that you're choosing healthier foods, you're eating less carbohydrates naturally because you're so focused on the protein goal that there just isn't enough calories in the day to exceed a carbohydrate goal. You also choose healthy fats with your calories. So even though the flexibility to eat junk food all day is definitely there with calorie counting, because like I said with Weight Watchers, you could eat Snickers for your 2,000 calories a day, and if you're in a deficit, you're going to lose weight. But if you give yourself a protein goal and even a fiber goal and you reach those goals every day, there isn't a lot of room in the calories to eat all of that junk food. So it definitely provides more flexibility. It definitely helps when you're in group situations or going out to dinner or at parties or during the holidays. Sometimes counting calories during the holidays is a great option because of the added flexibility of being able to indulge over the holidays and still lose weight. So now let's talk about is WW or counting calories easier? Weight Watchers is designed to be extremely easy to follow. They designed a point system so that you didn't have to worry about calories necessarily. Now, I do think that calories still matter. Even if you follow the WW program, you certainly don't want to be in a surplus of calories because you're going to gain weight, but you also don't want to be severely under eating because you're going to do damage to your metabolism and eventually your weight loss will stall, which is what we're finding a lot with people on WW. So even though they designed this point system and made it really easy for us, Again, it's still important to have knowledge of calories and macros. Their app is awesome as well. It allows you to track calories and exercise and fitness, and of course the food that you're consuming and the points that you're eating and the points you have left throughout the day. So the app is a great tool and is extremely simple to use. There's even restaurant foods and a barcode scanner that isn't always accurate, but there is a barcode scanner to make shopping at the grocery store easy. You just use your WW app, scan your food, and it tells you it's smart points value. In addition, there are thousands of recipes in the app, and there is a support group called Connect, which is another way for you to get additional support on the WW program. It's kind of like Facebook for WW. The WW points are basically a simplified version of counting calories. And a lot of you say, what's the difference between points and calories? There really isn't. Calories are taken into account when determining a smart point, along with other things like saturated fat and sugar and protein, but calories are a component of a smart point. WW has just, in a sense, dumbed down counting calories and making them points. Again, prevents you from having to track every little thing. All you do is track points and you don't necessarily have to worry about exactly how many calories are in the food that you're consuming. Now with calorie counting, it is equally as effective, sometimes more effective because of the chance to under eat severely on WW or even the small chance to overeat on the WW program. Just think if you eat too many zero point foods, they still have calories. So you could be in a calorie surplus, but you're more likely to be in too of an extreme deficit on WW. Now with calorie counting, you don't have the option of under eating or overeating because you are given a calorie goal every single day and you stay within that calorie goal. And again, counting calories offers a lot more flexibility, but counting calories can be said to be more time consuming, especially if you are someone that tracks literally every little thing that you eat. It can take a little bit more time to enter that individually versus entering some points in the WW app. So it's kind of about preference when it comes to WW or calories. There's one camp that says WW is simple and easy because they've done all the work for you. And then there's one camp that says, yes, but I'd rather count calories, have a little bit more food flexibility and know exactly what I'm eating every day and making sure I'm hitting a healthy amount of calories every single day. So which one would work best for you? That is a personal individual decision that you have to make. Not everybody's weight loss or healthy lifestyle journey is the same. We all have individual needs, desires, wants, goals. So you really have to think about what would work for you. It doesn't matter what works for me. It doesn't matter what works for your sister, your mother, your brother, an influencer on Instagram, YouTube, or Facebook, it doesn't matter. You have to figure out what works for you. Both Weight Watchers and calorie counting are effective. They are both effective ways to lose weight. Both Weight Watchers and calorie counting 
guide you towards healthier food and help you change the way that you eat. You still can't eat fast food every day for every meal on calorie counting because you'll be out of calories before you're out of meals for the day. And we all know that processed food, fast food is higher in points on the WW program. So both these programs will guide you towards making healthier choices. If you're looking for a lot more support and one-on-one -on -one attention, then Weight Watchers may be the best option for you due to the fact that they do have the digital and in-person workshops. There's the app. There is 24 hour coaching on the app that you can ask questions. There's connect. Also, if you are somebody who kind of just wants to know the numbers and do the program and ask questions or watch videos or research on the internet, then calorie counting may be the best option for you. Now, if you go the calorie counting route, you still have support. You have me, you have nutrition and weight loss coaches that you can sign up for one-on-one -on -one sessions with and ask your questions. I can help figure your calories and macros so that you can see the most effective weight loss on the scale. Every person that I have figured macros and calories for that have stuck with those macros and calories have seen bigger weight losses than they've ever seen on any other program. Program. So whether you choose WW or calorie counting, they both work if you work the program and work the program the way it's intended. So the bottom line is I don't have an answer for you on whether or not you should choose WW or calorie counting. You have to look into your soul and yourself and really decide, do you want more support individually, one-on-one -on -one, in a group, go to a workshop? Or do you want to have the flexibility of kind of eating whatever it is that you want to eat during the day and use people like myself or the internet as your support? That's basically what you have to figure out. Both Weight Watchers and calorie counting is a great way to lose weight. It's a great way to develop healthier eating habits. And like I said, if you work the program, the way the program is intended to work, you're going to see success on the scale. You just have to choose what program is best for you. So I hope you enjoyed today's video, kind of going over the pros and cons of both WW and calorie counting. And hopefully this helped you make a better educated decision on which program you want to follow. Now there's nothing wrong with following both programs. I actually really enjoy having the option to track points and know where I stand there and the option to track calories and macros and know where I stand there. Again, just choose what's best for you. If you have questions or comments, please leave those down in the comment section below. Make sure you're checking out my nutrition coaching website. If you choose the calorie route, please take advantage of the macro and calorie counting. If you want one-on-one -on -one guidance with calorie counting, take advantage of my one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. That's a great way for me to help guide you in the right direction when you're counting calories. Also make sure you check out online any specials that WW may be offering. They're usually offering some fantastic deals to join. And don't forget about the one month free down in the description box. So if you enjoyed today's video, it would mean a lot to me for you to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed. I'd love to have you join my channel. Check out my second channel as well for additional nutrition and weight loss and real talk. We'd love to have you over there as well. Also in the description box, you're going to find links, discount codes to my favorite things, and of course the link to join us on Facebook. Another great way to get support, whether you're on WW or Calorie Counting, we welcome everybody. So head on over and join us there. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.